the questions of June 2023 cycle, wherein we are solving the human development related questions. It, this is the part two of the series where we have we are we will discuss the remaining six questions. To get the link of part one, do check the description box. Question one: A popular theory describes the development as primarily unconscious and heavenly colored with emotions, where behavior is merely a surface characteristic and the symbolic working of the mind how has to be analyzed to understand it. Early experience with parents is also emphasized. This theory is known as the given options are A, cognitive theory, B, ecological theory, C, evolutionary theory, D, psychoanalytic theory. Let's understand the options one by one. By one. The first one is cognitive theory, which was given by Jean Piaget. He gave four stages, which is sensory motor stage, pre-operational stage, concrete operational stage, and formal operational stage. Then we have ecological theory, which was proposed by Judith Bonferbrenner. He states that the individual development is influenced by a series of interconnected environmental systems ranging from the immediate surrounding, which can be family, to broad social structure, which can be culture. This system includes the microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and chronosystem, which representing different levels of environmental influence on an individual's growth and behavior. Then we have evolutionary theory, which was given by Charles Darwin. He proposed the idea that species change over time, give rise to new species, and share up common ancestors. Then we have Freud's uh, psychoanalytic theory, which was given by Sigmund Freud. This theory explores the unconscious mind, the role of emotions, and the symbolic nature of thoughts and behavior and the influence of early childhood experience in human development. Coming back to our question, which was asking about the unconscious and heavenly colored emotions, where behavior is merely a surface characteristic and the symbolic working of a mind have, have to be analyzed to understand it. Early experiences with parents is also emphasized. This theory is known as after understanding all the options, we can say that the option number D, psychoanalytic theory, is the correct answer. Question number two. Garner's eight frames of mind are given options. Option A, verbal, mathematical, interpersonal. B. Bodily, kinesthetic, musical. C. Intrapersonal, naturalistic, special. D. Syn synapsis, nutrition, management. E. Nonverbal, sensory. The given codes are small a, capital B, C, D only. Code is small b, capital C, D, E only code small c capital a b c only code small d capital a d e only let's understand the theory of multiple intelligence which was given by howard gardner he initially identified eight intelligence and later added the ninth one please remember this point and the given intelligence are first one, linguistic intelligence, which is related to one's ability to understand and use language effectively. People with strong linguistic intelligence are good at reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Poets, writers, and public speakers often exhibit this type of intelligence. Then we have logical, mathematical intelligence, 
it is characterized by strong problem solving and logical reasoning abilities scientists and mathematicians often possess this intelligence then we have special intelligence which involve the ability to think in three dimensions visualize and understand the world architects artists and navigators navigator tend to have a strong this kind of intelligence then we have musical intelligence which is the capacity to appreciate create and understand music musicians composers possess this type of intelligence then we have bodily kinesthetic intelligence this is related to physical coordination and skill people with strong bodily kinesthetic intelligence are often good at sports dance acting and other physical activities then we have interpersonal intelligence this type of intelligence is concerned an individual's ability to understand and relate with others people with strong interpersonal intelligence are skilled in social interaction communications and empathy uh, for example teachers counselors and self persons often have high interpersonal intelligence then we have intrapersonal intelligence which involves self awareness and self understanding people with strong intrapersonal intelligence have deep understanding of their own emotions motivations and goals they are often self reflective and can navigate their inner self effectively and the last one is naturalistic intelligence which was later added by gardner it involves a strong connection of natural world including an understanding and appreciation for nature as well as the ability to categorize and identify the patterns in the natural environment biologist botanist environmentalist often exhibits exhibit this form of intelligence so coming back to our question which was asking the gardner's eight frames of, of mind please remember they may ask the ninth phase also so remember the last one which was naturalistic so coming back to our question the options <clears throat> they have mentioned so the correct a uh, correct will be uh, a b c right by simply eliminating the option number d and e we can get our correct answer so the correct answer will be code is small c capital a b c only third question factors that influence adjustment to parenthood are options a attitude towards pregnancy b age of parents c the child's temperament d friendship e peer centered roles the given codes are code small a capital a b c only code small b a capital a b e only code small c capital a c d only code small d capital a b e only let's understand the factors influencing the uh, parenthood the first one is parent or primary caregiver characteristics for example age gender personality mental health developmental history and knowledge and beliefs of parents then we have child's characteristic which can be child's behavior temperament age health skills and gender then then we have social cultural characteristics for example culture of parents social network the area they are living like a school work setting and their neighborhood all of these factors influence the parenthood phase so coming back to our question fact they were asking about the factors that influence the adjustment to parenthood so by simply eliminating the friendship and peer centered role we can get our correct answer which is with the code will be a capital a b 
C. So the correct answer will be code is small a, capital A, which is attitude towards pregnancy, capital B, which is age of parents, capital C, which is the child's temperament only. <clears throat> Question number four. Big factors of personality are the given options. A. Openness. B. Consciousness. C. Extraversion. D. Agreeableness. E. Aesthetic. The given codes are code small A, capital A, B, C, D only. Code small B, capital A, B, C, E only. Code small C, capital B, C, D, E only. Code small D, capital A, C, D, E only. Let's understand the big five personality traits which was given by D.W. Fiske. And the acronym we use for this is OCEAN. Where O stand for openness to experiences, C stand for constituteness, E stands for <clears throat> extroversion, A for agreeableness, and N for neurotism. Neurotism is referred to the emotional stability. So, in the question, they were asking you the to uh, select the correct big factors of personality. So here we will eliminate the option number. E, which is aesthetic and will get our correct answer which will be code capital A, B, C, D. So the answer is code small A, capital A, B, C, D only. Fifth question, the developmental period began in the late teens or early 20s and lasting through the 30s is the given options. Option A, Late adolescence, D, middle adolescence, C, early child, early adulthood, D, middle adulthood. Let's understand the period of development. So, first, first, first it begins from prenatal development that starts from the conception to birth. Then we have infancy or toddlerhood, which is from birth to two years. Then early childhood, which is from 2 to 6 years. Middle childhood, 6 to 11 years. Adolescent, 11 to 18 or you can say 20 years. Then we have early adulthood, which is 18 or 20 to 40 years. Then we have middle adulthood, 40 to 65 years. Then we have late adulthood, which is 65 years till the death. Coming back to our question, which was asking uh, asking you the period of development that begins in late teens or early 20s and lasting through the 30s. So after seeing all the periods of development, we can say that correct answer will be option number C, which is early adulthood, which lasts from early 20s to the late 30s or we can say beginning of 40s. And the sixth question is, reasoning does not belong to childhood, but first appear in adolescence. These are the words of the given option are A, Plato, B, Freud, C, Stuart, D, Erickson. Let's understand the philosophies of all the given options. Plato's philosophy <clears throat> can be summarized as the belief in higher non-material domain of abstract form or idea that represent the true reality and the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom through reasoned arguments. Wherein Sigmund Freud's philosophy can be summarized as the development of psychoanalysis which explores the role of unconscious mind, inner conflicts and the influence of early experiences on human behavior and mental process. Then we have Stuart. There is no widely recognized philosopher, philosopher named Stuart. From the name Stuart, I can only recognize him. So I have put it in his picture over here. Then the last one was Eric Erickson's philosophy, which can be summarized as a development of theories of psycho social theory which explores the psychological and social challenges individual face at different life stages 
and the importance of resolving these challenges for healthy psychological development. So coming back to our question, the statement which was given was reasoning does not belong, belong to childhood but first appear, appearance appears in adolescent. So the given options, none of them are related to this statement. Even the correct answer should be Jean Piaget because he has talked about the cognitive development and has and identified many stages related to cognitive development that our children go through, right? And and in his last stage, which was formal operational stage, he stated that adolescent can engage in more advanced form of reasoning, including detective reasoning and complex problem solving. So Eric, so Eric Erickson, Freud, Stewart, or Pluto, none of them are related to them. The correct answer should be Jean Piaget. If such kind of a situation arises in your question paper, please remember that there is no negative marking in UGC net. Choose any option you feel like, even the Stewart. Someone is going to claim for the question and you are going to get the free two marks. So don't leave any question unanswered. That is my request to you all. So thank you so much for watching the video. Do subscribe to our channel to get the latest update of videos.